In this video, I show you the most important performance statistics and trading metrics that you have to know about your trading in order to fully understand your trading performance, optimize your trading approach and trade with more confidence. The first thing you have to absolutely know about your trading performance is the expectancy or also the average trade size. This represents the value of each closed trade in your trading journal. A positive number indicates that you are a profitable trader. The closer the expectancy is to zero, the more volatile the trading performance is. Also, you want to take a look at your average winning size and your average losing trade. Generally speaking, you want to make sure that your average winner is larger than your average loser. However, there might be instances where it's okay to have a larger losing trading size when your win rate is particularly high. But if your average losing trade is larger than your average winning trade and you have a negative trade expectancy, it's time to further look into this in your journal. You want to find ways how you can optimize your winning trades. This is typically done by experimenting with different exit approaches where you can let your winning trades run for an extended period of time. Also, you want to analyze your losses in your trading journal further and find ways how you can potentially decrease the size of your average losing trade. It is important to know the average trade size of your overall trading performance. However, it's even more important to know the average trade broken down by your different strategies and setups. For that, we go to the trade analytics and then we use the ordering criteria trade setups. Then you get a breakdown of the different trading strategies or setups that you are using and have tracked in your Edgewong trading journal. When we scroll a little bit to the right, you get the column called expectancy. This is the average trade value. The higher the expectancy, the better performing your strategy is. When you find a strategy that has a negative expectancy, it means that the strategy is losing money. You then have two choices. Either you stop trading the specific strategy completely or you use the other analytical tools in Edgewonk to understand your trading strategy better, to look for weaknesses and to try to optimize your trading approach in this specific strategy. Next, we want to go to the chart lab and go to the performance by time chart. This will first give you a breakdown of the different trading days. You can compare your performance based on the different trading days. In this case, you will see that this trader is performing best on Wednesdays, whereas he is losing money on Thursdays and almost not making money on Fridays. It seems like he's also trading crypto or any other market where there's a 24 seven market and he's also making money on the weekend. So this trader could think about completely stopping trading on Thursdays or Fridays or look into the trades taken on Thursday and Friday to find out why he's losing money and find ways to improve that. If you are a day trader, you can change the period and instead of looking at the days, you can also change it and set it to five or 10 minute intervals of your trading day. This will give you a breakdown of your trading day in five minute intervals. You can hover over the bars to see the time interval. In this case, it's 7.30. Here it's 1.05 p.m. in the afternoon. And then you can find the best performing interval of your trading. This is especially helpful for day traders. We can stay in the chart lab and then we go over to efficiency. The efficiency graph measures how well you are sticking to your rules and how disciplined are you in your overall trading. The higher the efficiency, the better your trading behavior is. In this case, the trader reached a efficiency peak of 56%. This means on 56% of his trades, he's making the right trading decision and on 44%, he is breaking his trading rules. So there's still a lot of room for improvement and this trader would do well to focus on implementing better trading behavior and to work on improving his discipline and making sure that he's sticking to his trading plan. We recommend to regularly revisit your efficiency graph to see if you are trending into the right direction. And if your efficiency graph is going down, you want to analyze your trading behavior and find out why you are repeatedly breaking your rules. Next, we can go over to the exit analysis. And this is a visualization of your individual trades. The green horizontal area visualizes the take profit for your trades and the red horizontal line visualizes your stop loss. For each trade, you get a green and a red bar. The green bar shows how much the price on your trade has moved in your favor. The red bar shows how much the price has moved against you during your trade duration. And the black marker shows you the trade exit. You can make a lot of interesting observations. For example, when you find trades like here or here and here, where the black marker is not at the top, but more in the middle or closer to the entry, it means that although the price has moved quite a bit in your favor, you did not exit the trade at an optimal price level and you may have been able to realize much bigger winning trades by implementing a different exit approach. Next, we want to look at your trade management also can be found in the chart lab. The trade management graph shows you first of all in green your actual trading performance. This is how much performance you have realized in your trades. And then we can compare it with your potential performance. How much money would you have made by not messing around with your trades? 
A lot of traders suffer from mismanaging trades where they often cut winning trades too soon or let losses run too long. In such a case, you would see that the potential performance is above the actual performance. This would indicate that you could have made more money than what you actually realized. The reason for that is mismanaging trades, as I said. In this example that we're seeing here, the actual performance is well above the potential performance, so the trader is actively managing his trades very well and there's nothing to improve here. Knowing your win rate over time and the development of your win rate over time can also be helpful. If you see large dips and large movements of your win rate over time, especially to the downside, it is time to further look into your trading performance. In this case, you can see the win rate is pretty stable over time. This is a good sign and the trader is trading with a lot of consistency. In Edgewonk, you can customize your journaling completely to fit it your personal needs and your specific requirements of your trading approach. For that, we can go to the custom statistics and with the custom statistics in Edgewonk, you can track pretty much anything that you'd like. For example, in this trading journal, the trader is tracking the time frame, confluence factors, chart patterns, preparation, his mental state, indicator settings, the overall market, his missed trades and other things. And then you can get a visual representation of the different custom statistics. For example, you can compare the different time frames that you are trading and tracking to find what is the best performing time frame and where are you losing money so that you can optimize your trading behavior. In this case, the higher time frames, the daily and the four hour are not performing as well and the trader is even losing money. When you go to the chart lab and stay in the trade comments, you can also visualize your trade comments for your trade management, the trade exits and your trade entry. In Edgewonk, you can rate your trade entry, your trade exit and your trade comments and then get a visual breakdown of your trading performance. When we look at the trade management, this trader has a comment for manage his trades well. In this case, he is making money. However, his other trade management comments which describe negative trading behavior such as move the stop loss too close, he made an overall mistake or he did not make any management which would be more of a neutral comment. In this case, he is losing money or trading very close to break even. This will give you a completely new understanding of your trading performance, but also of your trading behavior. Where are you making the most money? When are you losing money? To help you bring awareness to your trading behavior and then optimize your trading performance. When we go to the reports and then open the monthly reports, you get a breakdown of your performance over time. So each month you will get a new row here that shows and breaks down your trading performance. You can open it to get a breakdown week by week. Generally, it's a good practice to just see how your trading performance is behaving. Do you see an improvement? Is your trading performance getting worse as indicated here by the green and the red arrows? This will give you a good understanding of your trading behavior. Where are you currently performing well? Where do you see problems in your trading so that you can quickly course correct improve your trading behavior, stop negative patterns in your trading and so steadily improve and bring more consistency to your trading approach. And of course, there's so much more in our Edgewonk trading journal, but those statistics and metrics will give you a good starting place to understand your performance and also find ways to improve your trading and work on your strengths and also improve on your weaknesses.